Um, let's have a, a, another look again on the on on this. I mean, this is the first look, and it's just yeah. There you go on the curbs. On the curbs, yeah. Yeah, just on the curbs and lost it. I mean, you can see there's there's a lot of front end in the car, but oh, sometimes, like Johnny said before, actually, sometimes the walls being closer sometimes help you out, don't they, with the angles? But I mean, that's gonna uh, he's gonna be a sore boy for a few days. Yeah. Saw boy for a few days, and uh, uh, look, I know, as, as we're saying, he's been airlifted to our hospital for the precautionary checks. You'll want to make sure, um, it's, I mean, it's likely, all, in all likelihood, it's going to be one car tomorrow, isn't it, for, for you, Gunter? Yeah, after seeing this one, uh, I, I think that is the result, you know, and then also taking any risk tomorrow, it's, it's not on, you know, and uh, we are in two weeks in, uh, in Melbourne, and it's better to focus on that one to make sure. Correct, uh, I didn't speak with him directly, he spoke with his mum, I spoke with his mum a few times and kept, uh, kept her updated. Uh, uh, he has no uh, injuries, which you can see, they just wanted to check on him, uh, doing some scans to see that there is no damage from the impact from uh, the, the forces. There was no failure, it was driver error, was it? Just a bit too much speed, lost the rear? Uh, yeah, it seems like he's gone on the curb and then just lost the car, you know, double wheel spin and you know how quick it goes, you know, but uh, it doesn't seem, no, there was no, no breakage or anything, I mean, you can't see anything, so we just lost all the data as well immediately on the impact, you know, we had no contact with him and no data anymore, it just cut everything off, I guess, something with the impact, it just everything destroyed. 